This is just a little piece about a guy named Jimmy. You might know him. You might be him. It's just a guy, any guy, but his name happens to be Jimmy. And this is what he's doing. Jimmy is walking down 17th Street Avenue Parkway Boulevard, minding his own business, trying to stay out of trouble when he sees at his feet a poem. And this poem, if you can believe it, looks exactly like a bottle of Victoria Bitter. But the poem says, warning may impair judgment. It says, warning may impair judgment in pregnant women who smoke. Warning may impair judgment in ambulance drivers and flight attendants. Warning may impair judgment in young boys with no future and nothing but shotgun dreams. Stop, don't. Oh well, but Jimmy downs the poem in one and throws the bottle into the gutter where it explodes into a firework of gold glass. And Jimmy says, ooh, Jimmy says, ah. And he walks down to the corner where he sees an old man standing on a milk crate. The old man is gesticulating wildly, waving his hands, pointing up at the stop sign. He starts slapping his head, tucking his beard, grabbing his coat, and flapping his arms like wings. And with the help of his fingers, he raises his eyebrows, looks at Jimmy, and says, Everybody get in the lifeboat. Everybody get in the lifeboat. Come on, come on, people, everybody. You gotta get in the lifeboat, people, because the ship, the ship is going down. Well, Jimmy pays the man no heed and crosses the street. When he comes to the next corner, he sees a young lady, and she's hardly wearing more than the shadows of the lamplight. She motions to him to come closer, come closer. She whispers softly in his ear, 15 minutes for $15. 15 minutes for $15. And Jimmy thinks, my, what a judicious correspondence between time and money. One to one, hand in hand ring around the rosy. So the young lady ends up $15 richer, Jimmy is 15 minutes poorer, and no one is any wiser. And while crossing the next street, Jimmy stops to pick up yet another poem and is hit by the 507 Crosstown bus. Hit by the big bus broadside. Bye bye, Jimmy. Now you may think had Jimmy heeded the warnings, left the poem alone, listened to the old man, or been just 15 minutes earlier, things might have been different. But it's not always that simple, because sometimes you catch the bus, but sometimes the bus catches you. Everybody get in the lifeboat, oh yeah. Everybody get in the lifeboat, come on, come on, people, everybody. You've seen the movie Titanic, you know how it ends. The big ship, the ship is going down, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down, I tell you. But thankfully, this evening in the lifeboat, we have priority seating. Women and children first, followed by crazy old men. Bankers, lawyers, politicians, end of the line, end of the line. You know the routine. Come on, let's go. Make your way into the lifeboat. Just put one foot in front of the other. It's just like walking. Actually, it is walking. Come on, come on. The lifeboat is the place to be. The lifeboat is the place for me. I'm sorry, ma'am, no luggage allowed. You'll have to leave that here. Come on, it's now or never. Don't worry about the weather. Just make your way into the lifeboat because the ship, my friends, is going down. Thank you.